Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Now today you're going to be watching the outcome from my 50 lap Goliath race which I actually did yesterday. It wasn't actually as fun as I sort of thought it might have been. Uh, it was quite painstaking towards the end but nevertheless I persevered and completed 50 laps. Now of course I will go through the results etc in a minute but first of all I think it's best that we go through how I got there, what I used etc. Now, I started off just using the standard Goliath race. I created my own 50 lap blueprint. Uh, you'll see the share code pop up in a second. Now, I didn't change anything. There was 11 other AI driver tars. It was 50 laps, daytime. Um, time wasn't changing or anything like that. Now the car I used was the BMW X5 M Forza Edition. Uh, the reason for this is because it gives an overall XP boost at the end of the race, so I figured it's probably better to use that one. There are credit boost cars, or you can use skill score ones as well, because you will be earning a lot of skill points throughout this race. The tune for that BMW is there on your screen now. If you do want to use it, it's pretty good. It hits about 270 mile an hour in a straight line. Now the other thing I did was brought out all of the perks. The reason for this is because you can earn extra XP and credits at the end of a race. So as you can see there are 25% extra XP um, and I believe the other one was similar, more XP for the end of the race. Now just take note there, I started the race with 25 skill points, level 83 and on 1.7 million credits. Ignore the accolade points because you don't really earn many. I also had it on expert driver tars. I turned it onto automatic purely because if you're going to be changing gears for 50 laps, that's eight and a half hours. It's not great for your fingers. Um, at the end of this, I had like a crab hand. It, it wasn't very pleasant if I'm brutally honest. So I opted to go for automatic. Um, obviously, I did this myself. I didn't do that whole AFK rubber band glitch. Uh, it's not a glitch actually, it's just a way of being lazy, if you will. Um, I don't know if you guys know about it, but I can tell you about it another time. So I, like I said, did this all by myself. Now, after about the 10th lap, I sort of pondered what am I actually doing with myself. But at that point, I was two and a bit hours in and I figured, well, what's the point? I might as well crack on. So overall, it took me about eight hours to complete the race and it wasn't the easiest thing to do because it was a little bit glitchy in places so after about the 15th or 20th lap something like that um, you start to lap other vehicles but also as you can see in the top there i was actually in first place but the position kept changing so i don't know what was going on there but it happened numerous times throughout the race and i was getting quite scared that by the end of it I would cross the finish line it would say I was in second or third when I really wasn't so that was kind of worrying but what I also did pick up and I'll show you a clip of later is with the rewind function now obviously I kept it on for this race and I thought it was quite important because you know if you go off on the 49th lap and someone overtakes you you might be up shit's creek without a paddle sort of thing so i left that on but what i did discover is when you rewind it not only do obviously all the other cars that were in front of you that you're about to lap or the cars that are behind you go back but when they go back to the position they were in they then go back again it's a really weird situation but you'll see in the next clip it was very bizarre but it also worked to my favour because it meant that when the cars behind may have started catching up because I went off the track, um, I would carry on so I could keep my skill score, but they would end up catching up. So I just, after I got the skill score, hit rewind and they would be further back. It's probably not meant to happen. It's definitely a technical glitch, but I found it quite funny and quite amusing. Um, but that you know it is what it is with that one but like i said at the end of the day when you're so many hours into a race you just want to really get it over and done with and and win it but as you can see here i rewound it and i think it was a ford bronco in front of me he actually sort of morphed back as you just saw there on the map to a position he was in before i actually hit the rewind button it's very very weird but it happens to literally every car on the map pretty much um, and they have 50 laps of the Goliath. Would I do it again? Definitely not. Maybe on Forza Horizon 6, but not again on here. So a final time of 8 hours and 40 minutes, which I was quite happy with, to be honest. But I was just <coughs> really, really glad that it was over, to be fair. Now, during the race, obviously, I started off at level 83. And at the end of the race, I was level 97. So I'd leveled up about 14 times just through earning skill points, which is pretty cool. Like I said, accolades, you don't need to worry about them. You don't get too many, and there's no special ones. 
XP though, I pretty much got 3 million XP. And I think I leveled up 164 times. So that was all the way to Prestige 1 level 40 something. On top of that, um, you obviously get a couple of wheel spins. So you get some more money there. Now, I don't know what it is, but unfortunately Horizon 5 doesn't actually show the credits earned at the end of the race until you come back to this screen. And it's a little white area in the corner. But I basically earned, I think it was 8.72 million credits, which was pretty good. And I was quite glad it wasn't just 1 million credits for 8.5 hours work. And on top of that, obviously I started off with 25 skill points. So I've earned 480 skill points for the whole race, which is pretty good. Now, like I said earlier, there are some people doing an AFK sort of Goliath race where you rubber band the controller and set all the difficulties to really easy. I've not tried it yet, but I might try it just for five laps. It's apparently a lot of people are leaving it on overnight and they're waking up with, I don't know, eight more million credits and, and whatnot, which I don't know. It sounds like it might ruin the whole grind and the fun of the game. But if you guys wanted to see something like that, I could definitely show you. I wouldn't do the full 50 laps. Um, I just sort of show it in five laps or whatever. But anyway, as well as that, obviously, I earn about 200 or something wheel spins from that whole thing. I don't know if you want to watch me spin all 200 of them, but if you do, let me know down below. It's probably going to be quite, I don't know, it might be fun. Who knows? Anyway, folks, I want to just say I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that if you had any questions, this video has answered it about doing 50 laps, i.e. what you actually end up with. I know some people are saying they ended up with 20 million, but I just don't see that as possible, even if you've got all the difficulties set to unbeatable and whatnot. But anywho... If you did enjoy it, I would very, very much appreciate if you could subscribe and don't forget to drop a like. As well as that, you can join our Forza Horizon 5 club called Everything Gaming. There is uh, everything in the description. And also, you can check me out on Twitter or join our Discord. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.